hello everyone uh, welcome back so today we are going to solve the problem minimum cost to convert string 1 from the weekly context 377 so this problem is quite interesting and i like this problem a lot because this problem teach you so many concepts and this video gonna be a bit long but i can guarantee you that but after watching this video you will learn new concepts and for bit uh, for better viewing experience you can switch the playback speeds now first let's understand the problem statement first let's understand the problem you are given a zero indexed source and target both of length n and a consisting of lowercase english letters you are also given zero indexed character array original and changed he is given source and target and original and changed and cost of i represents the cost of changing the character from original i to changed i and it is saying that if I want to convert A to B, my cost is 2. And if I want to convert from B to C, my cost is 5. That is what it is saying. Now, you start with the string source. In one operation, you can pick a character X from the string and change it to the character Y at the cost Z. If there exists any index J such that it is matching, we need to return the cost to convert the string source to the target using any number of operations. We can perform any number of operations and we need to convert source string into the target string. If it is not possible, we need to return the minus one. We need to return the minus one. Now, let's see. Now, let's see with this example. Now, yeah, this question in, involves graphs because you can't solve this problem without graphs. I will explain you why. Most of you will think hash map will work. Yes, A is affiliated to B and A can be affiliated to C and my distance can be year 1, year 2. That's why if you are going with maps, map, maps won't give perfect answers because if you want to go to A to E but there is no direct path from A to E but if you go from B, B, A to, if I want to go to A to E then there is no direct path. You should go to B and then you should go to E. If you use maps, yes you can solve this with maps but you feel bit complex and going from every point to the next point becomes very very tough that's why we have drawn directed graph this is a directed graph because graphs dekhne ke baad hi pata chal jata hai some questions now we have changed original to change it a to b and b to c here we have uh, retained the directed edges and the respective cost now saying b to c if i want to b to c is saying my cost is 5 and c to e c to e it is 1 and e to b which is 2 and d to e which is 20 d to e which is 20 uh sub th because this is a direct path but if i want to go from a to suppose if i go to c to b if i want to go to c to b here we have distance 5 therapeutic 5a but if you go to C to E and D to B, which is 3, which is minimum, 3 is minimum. So I will take 3. So that is the crisp of the problem. Because if you go to a directly C to B, Meripas only if I I am going directly, but my cost is more. And I am taking some other path and my cost is less. So which is better? My minimum is better. That's why uh that's why taking the minimum is the most important thing. Now let's see with this example. So if you draw the a cycle directed graph you will get this structure now he's saying that a should convert into b a should convert to b then a should go to c c to b which the cost is 3 everything will take 3 into 4 which is 12 that's it now let's say this example now a to e you have given the cost i can go from a to e but he's saying a to a which is matching b b which is matching c c which is matching but d to e is saying D to E there is a path, there is no direct path from D to E, so I will return minus 1. If there is no path, I will return minus 1. Let's see one example. Uh, I have taken this. It can be anything, but I felt this can be a really good example to understand. So you can think in input bool jao. You can forget the input for some time. Let's see. Now if I want to go from A to F, A to F, A to F. So if uh, if I am trying with DFS, DFS is uh, I will go till the end. I will go till the end and then I will uh, track back. 
tracking back if i am going till the end a will go to b and b to f which is 4 now a to f f is already visited in dfs a to f is already visited you will get 6 now it, it is worth it now you will say yes my i got the minimum as 4 now if i want to a to d a to d it is go to 1 plus 3 which is 4 we are considering this to 1 plus 3 which is 4 now d is visited my visited of d is true visited of d is true but if i want to go from if i go like this a to c and c to d which is 3 but it is already visited you can't trace back you can't trace back so if you are using dfs dfs you need to backtrack you need to backtrack so every time if you visit some node you need to unvisit as well so dfs calls like this if i am visiting it visited if i is equals to 1 then i will call the dfs function then visited of i will be 0 after the use it should become 0 so if we do this it will be very hectic complexity because it will go to exponential 2 power n but for all the minimum minimum distance we will go with bfs breadth first breadth first search says that i will go level by level suppose if you are at this node i will go this level and this level and this level i will go level by level and i will check whether it is minimum or not that means you will visit every node from the top to bottom top to bottom and you will find that okay i will go with bfs that's for sure so can you use any algorithm for getting the shortest path if it's saying if i want to go from a to d or a to f is there any shortest path algorithm as distra distra will work right uh, i will use distra algorithm for that now let's see this example now if i want to reach from a to d a to d i will go to a to b and i will keep a to b which is my one and then i will go to a to c which is two so c path is this and now there are two paths now if i am going from if i am going from b which is taking one if i am going from c which is taking distance as two now now with b it is taking one from c it is taking two now i reach a d now to reach d from b it is taking three from c it is taking one which is minimum c is minimum so i will take three as my answer so when my minimum comes so because we are iterating in the same direction we will get the answer so i think you know about uh, distress algorithm if you don't know about this distra algorithm there are plenty of articles and videos available on the youtube you can check it out there but here i level high level i will explain you so if you come to the coding part uh first first we'll say this code now i am using adjacency list of 30 because he's saying there are 26 small letter characters english letter characters a to z so it can be 26 now o o is original c is changed sorry for the variable names this is my source this is my target now my source and target are not equal i am saying a i am sending to s of i and t of i i am receiving here as a and b a should be equals to b i need to reach a to b in the minimum distance so here i have used priority queue i think you know this is a min heap so if you don't use this variables this thing then it will take it as a max heap so i i want to use min heap so these are declared now i push and we have distance array which is 26 and minus 1 and every time we will pop the top element because that will be my minimum and i will iterate and i will iterate p dot second which is p is my pair and in the pair first variable i am storing is the distance because we want the minimum distance that's why we, sh we should store the distance not the index that's why we are going with p dot second and distance of i dot first equals to minus one because that node is not visited at all or else if p dot first p dot first that means my this distance plus from here which i am going to the next path plus i dot second should be less than distance of i dot first then i am pushing it and i am returning it every time i am returning it yes i am returning the answer okay this looks good but the thing is every time you are computing this so can you optimize it can you optimize it because if you see here the time complexity to, to total you have 10 power 5 if i am getting a once then you are comp calculating for everything 
then after going somewhere you are getting a then you are calculating then you are getting a then you are calculating instead of recalculating everything can you calculate for every node for a b c d e f g h till z yes we can do that to decrease the to optimize the solution we will use map in map we will store the vector in the map we will store the vector we have used map we are storing the vector for everything from a i am checking the shortest path from b i am checking the shortest path from c i am checking the shortest path to the every node from a till the every node b to the every node c to the every node after checking it it's simple if you know how to use the hash map and how to retrieve the values it's pretty simple i think you have got the logic so if you learned something new from this video please please do consider to like and if you are new to the channel please do like please please do subscribe so i will see you in the next video until then bye bye so if you have any doubts please do comment out in the video or else in the lead code comments you can comment it i will try to explain you and i will see you in the next video bye bye